Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and of course, welcome to the brand new map called Bootleg Hollows by Big Dubs. Now, full disclosure, this is my second time attempting to record this video because the first time I went to record this video, I was about three quarters of the way through, and then my PC had the, well, the, it, it blue screened. So, we're gonna try to do this again, and if you're seeing this video right now, well, that's good news because that means it didn't blue screen this time. Anywho, let's go ahead and fire up our scout. We'll get it into the garage and we'll grab a brand new scout vehicle and then I will show you around some of the introductory areas of this map. Now, what makes this map so interesting is the fact that there is a little bit of a story to go along with it, which is really cool to see in a mod map environment. So we're going to actually go into our storage. We're going to sell our DLC trucks real quick just to build up a little bit of cash. We're not really going to need to use the money mod this time, but I would like to go ahead and sell those trucks. Now, in order to explore this map, I'm actually going to go ahead and pick up the... I'm going back and forth between the Denside Classic and the 2017 L400. I think for this run, I'm going to go with the 2017 L400, but we're going to do it in a very simple spec. So stock engine, default gearbox, stock suspension, and really the only thing that we're going to change is a little bit about the tire specs. So we're actually going to go with these off-road compound tires in a slightly bigger size, and that'll give us, obviously, a little bit of an edge in terms of anytime it gets muddy or rocky, we'll have those at our disposal now we're going to do the axle dump we're also going to do some rock lights and we're going to do let's see uh some aftermarket headlights and we really only have one uh one actual wheel option there and we're gonna go ahead and paint this one red and uh now we're gonna go ahead and set off so this thing obviously is right at home here in and in this configuration it's actually a pretty uh pretty well set up like off-road rig so let's make our way down to this first task now like i said this map is Yes, it is based around off-roading and trail riding and a little bit of mudding as well. But what's cool about this map is that it brings it all together with a little bit of a story. Now, this first task, Wildlife Finds, is basically it revolves around seeing the local wildlife. Now, when I originally first took on this task, I thought to myself, oh, okay, it's just going to be basically a little bit of an exploration task where you're going to go around and see some interesting places. No, you actually see legitimate animals. Now, the first animal that you'll see as we get closer, obviously, we need to get there first, but basically you'll see some deer, then you'll see a bear, and then the last one I actually didn't end up getting to before my uh, unfortunate computer crash on my first round of recording this map. Now, I don't blame that on the map at all. I'm sure that was just some kind of, like, you know, uh, random freak issue that my PC decided to have. Hasn't actually had that issue in a very, very long time, so we're going to uh, just kind of gloss right over it and uh, say that it's nothing to worry about. Let's make our way up this entry road. Now, you've got some really cool switchbacks here on this dirt road that heads into town. It's nothing too gnarly. It's nothing too crazy. I mean, default vehicles could probably get up here just fine. Uh, obviously, you do have some loose rocks in the middle of the road to be careful about if you do have a stock vehicle, though, because those do have the potential to cause quite a bit of damage to your suspension. So let's ease our way out onto this bridge, which again is beautiful, by the way. If there's one thing that Dubs really excels at in his map creation, it's these beautiful vistas, beautiful views, and beautiful photo opportunities that his maps give you access to. I mean, it's a beautiful photo opportunity right now. Literally right now, it's a beautiful photo opportunity. But let's go ahead and continue on with the map itself. So as you come down this trail, it'll give you access to this neighborhood. And as you get back into the neighborhood, this is where you'll find your first wildlife sighting, which once again is a small group of deer. And actually, since we've been driving along in the 2017 L400, I will go ahead and let you guys know that if you've never spent time with this truck with the stock engine and stock transmission, you should, because it's actually a really well-balanced, like, fun-to-drive way to use this truck. Got some deer right here, really, really cool. That's our first wildlife sighting of this particular task. Now, we're actually off to find the bear. Now, the bear is actually really cool because you'll find the bear right near the river and it actually has a recently caught fish in its mouth, which is, again, so cool. The elements of, basically, like, the elements of immersion that Dubs really puts into these maps is so incredibly on point, and I love the dy dynamic of exploration that it gives you. So for this part, we're actually going to go across the river right here, and then there's a trail on the left that we're gonna wanna take, and it'll, it'll basically allow us to find our way up the side of the mountain, and then once we make our way up there, we can kind of break trail a little bit and head down towards the river to find this bear. 
So let's go ahead and head through this mud real quick. This is why you want a vehicle when you're exploring this map for the first time especially. You want a vehicle that's going to be capable in a variety of scenarios, including mud, rocks, trails, uh, also a vehicle that has some flex to it, but also maybe a vehicle that has the capability of towing trailers as well. Now, even if they are only uh, little scout trailers, but the ability to tow big trailers will certainly help later on down the line when you start getting into some of the vehicle recovery tasks. So thankfully, due to this thing's large tires and really high suspension, we're gonna be able to make our way through some of the deeper parts of the water right there. We'll make our way down here, and here's where we find the bear. Now, like I said before, this bear legit has just caught a fish right there. It's so cool. It is so freaking cool. And I'm going to actually give you guys a little bit of a better view of that by turning the HUD off. And look at that. Just like that to me is like, once again, one of the coolest things we could have possibly ever come across or could have possibly ever seen while exploring this map. I love these little added details that Dubs does a really, really good job of going into and adding to his maps. And it really does promote that level of exploration that in a lot of ways you find on the default maps. So let's go ahead and make a right here. And now we're, oh God, oh, my controller has decided that it is time to leave the chat. And then now it's, oh my God, it's decided it's time to return. Holy moly, what in the heck was that? Dude, okay, my controller's back now. Um, If any of you have ever had your controller do that, comment below and let me know. All right, so let's see. Let me check on the map real quick and see where it is that we're heading because, whoa, where are we going? Uh, whoa, okay, all the way down to Jack's Fishing Pier, which means that to me means it's time to go ahead and recover because that's in the absolute opposite direction of where we were going in the first place. So let's see, head on over to visit Jack, uh, let's see, Jack Lex Fishing Pier to see, uh, let's see, some of the local largemouth bats. All right, well, let's see. Do we want to head... I'm thinking probably down and then to the right. We'll want to make our way through this little, like, this weird body of water right here. Which I think kind of makes me want to just drive through the river? That's a bit weird. I suppose there's going to be some, you know, some obvious form of trail down here. But I'm really not sure which one it is. I feel like, alright, I'm just going to send it. Wow, actually, sending it worked a lot better than I thought it was going to gotta slow down because even in the stock configuration of both engine and transmission if you let this thing get going and high and you really let it build boost it will take off all right whoa this is okay this is some proper mud this is some real mud over here yeah you're gonna have to be on your toes for this part now let's see is that gonna be all the way down see i don't know because there's a trail right here and there's a trail right here I might need to switch trails, although I ugh, I really don't want to do that because I feel like if I do that, then it's going to end up being a mistake, and then I'm going to end up regretting switching trails, and then that's going to be a whole thing, and then, yeah, we will have gone the wrong way. So, all in due time, we will explore this map and explore these trails, but please do forgive me if I do end up breaking trail a time or two in this video. Now, as we move along, let me know in the comment section down below as well what your favorite part of this map is so far, what your favorite part is of what we've seen, and if you like the dynamic and the design style that this map has brought to the table. Now, I do love these rock textures as well. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and really realistic as well. Ease my way through this section right here, and I feel like at the moment I am kind of going, well... I don't know if I'm going away from it or if I'm kind of just like approaching it from a bit of a roundabout way. I think I'm kind of approaching it from a roundabout way, which is completely fine, completely and totally fine, as long as I get there. I don't care if it's a roundabout way or not, as long as I get there. All right, oh, there it is. Not bad, not bad. Come on. Oh, this part's got some proper mud to it. I tried to send it, but I hit something solid and the truck bounced and I am gonna ninja winch my way through here now obviously if you wanted a more realistic experience on this map i would choose a vehicle other than the 2017 l400 but for exploration purposes it's great all right so actually we're getting fairly close now and i'm gonna momentarily break trail because this almost invites you to break trail right here i mean it really invites you to just walk your way right through that clearing and then come right back out on the other side 
Now let me see what I'm gonna be looking at here. Whoa! That's pretty gnarly. That's a whole mud hill. All right, I'm gonna power that. Power down. That's properly deep. I am modulating the throttle though. I'm not flat out, so I feel like I feel like if I was flat out, I would have gone up a rock and flipped over backwards at this point. So that's why we're not doing that. Actually, yo, I think we went the right way. Oh my god. Dude, I'm still, like, I'm just absolutely, like, all about the way this map looks. Because, again, it provides that realistic feel, but it also allows you to have that element of being drawn into it. Have that element of being, you know, drawn into it from the standpoint of just wanting to explore. And it really speaks to that part of, uh, of me in particular that just loves discovering new areas of maps. And, again... I feel like there's going to be so much exploration to be had out here. Oh, we got a watch point. That's going to actually help tremendously in terms of getting to where we need to go. There we go. This thing actually does so well when you just rip it in, like, the stock suspension over bumps. Jack Black Scout discovered. Let's go ahead and launch the observation because... Oh, yo, that's cool. TMB Dubs uh, Dude, that's awesome. That's amazing. I absolutely love that. All right, let me go ahead and ease it in. Jack Black's truck, Jack's fishing pier. All right, so that's going to be on the other side of this waterfall. So we're going to actually want to head down here and head to the left. And I've got to tell you that just from doing the very first task on this map, I am already hooked. I am absolutely going to be coming back here. I'm absolutely going to be having a bunch more adventures back here. And it really is giving me a feeling that I had right back, you know, when the game, I wouldn't say right when it first came out, but a little bit after the game came out and we started seeing the Canadian runner maps, this, I think, is right in that same vein of how the Canadian runner maps really promoted that exploration, but it was done in a story-driven manner. And I think this really speaks to that same type of dynamic. However, it comes from a little bit more of a trail riding based, um, like trail riding based actual uh, design focus. So really, really love what Dubs has done here. Absolutely love the design style. And boom! Promoted? Not bad. Not too bad at all. Money for pictures. Alrighty then. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. That has been our very first episode of exploring this brand new map by Big Dubs. And I gotta say, I absolutely love it. I think it's an incredible map, and I really love the direction he's gone with it. And if you enjoyed it as well, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And turn those notifications on. And I'll see you guys next time.